all right what is up youtube it's your boy arrow here back with another video and today i'm gonna be showing y'all the new npc system that i've been uh that i did like 10 minutes ago it only took 10 minutes too it's not that bad it's not that long because the other one it was like complicated because you had like individual i had individual scripts and individual gui for like each npc but now it's just one script or two scripts for all of them so you can place as many of these as you want and like yeah so um uh i'm gonna show y'all how this works first i'm gonna show you how this system works all right so this is gonna be how it works so i'm gonna click him there we go so at the top it displays the name and then the dialogue and while you're talking you can't click any any other ones and um you can't move either so the walk speed is off you see these have different lines different personalities you know I used to live in the water now i can breathe on land type stuff i can only hold my breath for about seven minutes and i'm grateful yeah so that's basically how it works this is way better than the other one like i said because i didn't hard code it this time the um the other one i hard coded and i didn't um mean to yeah i didn't mean to i didn't mean to hard code it back then i didn't know what i was like really doing but now now i i'm yeah i know what i'm doing all right so um these two scripts will be in the description i ha i finally have a page bin so those will be in the description but for now i'm gonna show y'all where everything goes and like i'm gonna explain the scripts for you so on workspace you're gonna have a folder called npcs and in here you're gonna place your npcs make sure the name is like the actual name don't just name it npc or else the uh the name title is going to be npc and in the in the npc you're going to have a folder named dialogue options this is where your lines are going to be and this this is the dialogue that they're going to say this is basically the words they're going to say you have line one line two and you can add more lines i'm going to teach you how to do that uh, later you're also going to want to add a click detector and name it activate text or whatever you want just change it in the uh, script you're going to want that and then that's really it for the uh for an npc and for the started gui you're going to screen gui uh we, you have these two scripts i'm gonna go over those in a bit so you have the mainframe this is going to be the um the text holder thing you know the thing that pops up and then the title is going to be like the name title it's going to this is going to display the name and this is going to display the text that they're going to say so hide that all right now the scripts figuration script so uh basically first line i required the module script that i needed for right here uh reference the local player i got the folder the npc folder gy i got the screen gy and then the uh, mainframe i have the mainframe right here for the dialogue i have the uh dialogue thing and then for the mouse i got the mouse because i i needed to um make like a raycast type system because i didn't know how to do it another way so yeah um character i got the player character for the i need that for, for the humanoid so this i'll explain later uh but can talk and basically if you can talk or not so this first function find target it's going to find the target so this is going to be equal to mouse.target and then i'm going to return it in case i need it in this case i do so in this function the target equals find target so that's basically going to equal target mouse.target yeah and then if the target dot parent dot parent so i put dot parent dot parent because once you aim at the npc oh shoot all right once you aim at the npc you're gonna hit one of these so dot parent dot parent and if the and if it's um if his parent is npcs then it'll do all of this so that that's to avoid errors so clicker is gonna be do the target so the target dot parent dot find first child so it's gonna go through all of this until it finds this which is basically is activate text so that's finding the clicker and then when you click the um clicker uh it's gonna set i mean so if can talk equals true then it's gonna set it to false so you don't click anything else the npc is gonna equal to clicker dot parent uh dialogue options is gonna be uh npc dot dialogue options right here 
and then the humanoid uh that's your player's humanoid i'm gonna set set that walk speed later and then line one is gonna be the lines that they say so you so you need to make sure to reference that if you want to add another line just do line i'm at local line three. Oh shoot it's auto saving oh my gosh so if you want to add another one do uh line line three and then equals and you know just do that and then copy and paste this and just put another one so um after that i set the human walk speed to zero so you don't go anywhere mainframe dot visible so you can actually see the thing the uh i set the name so it could be uh visible displayed on the on the uh, text and then this is where the typewriter comes in when i used a uh mod and this is basically what it is object text length set the object which is the dialogue and that's this and then the line one dot value which is a string value so that's basically what they'll be saying i already showed you that um and this is the time between each letter and then this is the um time between each like line so yeah and then when that's ended i uh mainframe dot visible equals false and the text will equal space because i don't want it to show up when i'm speaking to another guy and then it'll set the walk speed back to normal and can talk will equal true so you can select something else all right i think i i tried my best explaining that i hope y'all understand but uh, i have a page bin and both of these scripts will be in the page bin in the description so you can go check that out uh make sure to subscribe because you know just because it only takes like a click but you know um uh, i'll be i'll be streaming sometime soon too and i'm working on getting daily uploads because you know i gotta support y'all you know y'all my fam but anyways i hope you enjoyed this video and hope you lasted the end and i'll see you later